Hi, I'm Kevin Klein, City Councilor for Charleswood Tuxedo Westwood, as well as the Chair for the Winnipeg Police Board. Yesterday at a special meeting of City Council, the 2019 City of Winnipeg budget was passed by a vote of 11-5, uh, 11, 11 in favor and 5 opposed. I was uh, one of the five opposed to the budget and I don't think that that comes as any surprise as we were very vocal during the very limited time to review a billion dollar budget that uh, there was no access to actual financial data. Um, we were not comparing the budget to what actually happened in 2018. We were actually just comparing the budget to the 2018 budget. So they were very similar. Oddly enough, the 2018 budget is very similar to the 2017 budget. So it's very difficult to do your due diligence with, uh, with guesses, if you will. Um, we, we didn't have the opportunity to drill down. We had very uh, few questions answered. Um, so I don't think it is a surprise that we voted no to that budget. But during the process, we worked very hard to ensure that this wasn't personal because that is not the intent and it was not the intent. The intent was to be quite factual. Uh, the reality is people told us at the doorsteps that they didn't mind paying taxes but they wanted to know what it was for. Where is the money going? They were tired of backroom deals and such. So we worked very hard to try and get that information public and to communicate that to you. So it wasn't personal. It wasn't about who was sitting at what table or what group was uh, you know, making decisions and what group wasn't. It was based on facts and it was based on the best interest of taxpayers. So it was incredibly disappointing. Um, and unfortunate to see the reaction from the mayor's office uh, immediately following the budget with some social media post. Um, I look at them as propaganda. I want to say propaganda. They're more manipulating uh, than anything else, I believe. I, I think it's uncalled for. Um, I didn't think that we needed to do that. Uh, there was posts that were coming out from the mayor's office, you know, talking about how um, some councillors voted in favor of a low income bus pass and freezing water rates and, and uh, freezing bus rates. Well, the freezing water rates was you know, something that happened in our committee and sure, sure we're in favor of that. But the fact is, is that the way the budget is presented uh, is very top heavy. It's based on one person. It's called the, the strong mayor model, right? Um, so the budget came out as one item, the operating budget. Well, Surely there are things in the operating budget that are going to be questioned and we know did not. We did not have the opportunity to change that. We had the opportunity to make uh, statements but we couldn't ask questions. Uh, we had the opportunity to ask questions in our own um, standing policy committee if we happened to be on a certain standing policy committee but we didn't always get answers. Um, there's a policy or some kind of uh, process that if you ask a question of a certain department head or whatever it could take up to 15 days to get an answer. Um, when one asks what is the uh, planned salary increase for executives one should have that answer quickly. We didn't. Um, I, I was I was not happy uh, with the comments to the press uh, by the mayor that, uh, that he was dismayed that some councillors would vote against those items. And that's just wrong. We have been very clear, and it hasn't been personal, that this is about process and this is about the taxpayer. It's not about one person. It's not about power. It's about doing the right thing. We are going in the wrong direction when it comes to spending. In fact, our operational budget is up 3.9%, I believe, uh, as a total. Um, and we didn't address any savings um, because we took money that we did cut from the arts program or from the roads and we put it somewhere else that is all of a sudden going to turn up to be a project somewhere or a legacy project. And that's just wrong because this is your money. And I think that we need to focus on the core services. We need to put the city in a position where we're focusing on the basics. We're focusing on what you pay for, that we're not extending our reach into uh, areas we don't belong. Um, we call out the province and say that they're responsible for uh, the schools. 
Very true, they are. So why do we have some items in this budget giving $500,000 or more to, uh, to uh, one or two schools to build uh, running tracks? Um, that should be the responsibility of the province. That's their buildings and, and so on. Th these are the things that we voted no to. Right? I mean, these are the things that I think are most important that need to be discussed. So, um, did we vote no to a low-income bus pass? No. And, and how terrible that you would say something like that. Um, did we vote no to uh, freezing water rates? No. But yet again, uh, when that went through council, look at the way it was worded. Uh, it was manipulation. Manipulation 101. You know, uh, here we wrote, we changed the the uh, uh, vote, if you will, the motion, just just to say that we'll freeze water rates, household water rates, uh, f at 2018 levels, but we're going to increase all the rest. So, if you voted for it, um, that side could come out and say, "Well, look, they voted to increase rates as well," or that person voted not to. The, you know, they did. They didn't want you to freeze the rates. It's it's a silly game that we're playing with your money, and I think we're better than that. Um, and what that says to me, um, and what I thought about after seeing those comments online and seeing the you know, marketing that was coming out of the mayor's office, I thought, it's time to change the system. Maybe it's not people. It really, it's really not. I mean, it's part of politics, and uh, I don't have to like it, but so be it. They're allowed to say what they want and do what they want. Um, but it's, it's time to change the, uh, the system, and that's what we're going to work on now.